my name is Michaela. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today is arguably the most exciting video I've ever done on my channel. So we're getting a puppy. We've been holding out. I have been holding out for a really long time on this channel. I haven't told a lot of people. Only my immediate family knows. I don't know why. Like, there's no specific reason why it needs to be a surprise. But I just wanted to keep it a surprise just for entertainment reasons, I guess. So, in this video, we are going to be picking up stuff that we need for him. I've gathered a list of things that we're going to need for him. The next video after this one is going to be when we're actually going to... Oh, gosh. When we actually go pick him up and in there we'll put his name and the story behind getting him and all that stuff we're about to leave to go to a couple of different places there's like a pet smart around here there's a, another like dog store pet store we're just gonna go see what we can find from the list and some of the things i'm gonna order from amazon we're gonna just vlog the day and then i'm gonna give you guys a huge haul of everything that we got so far for him and yeah we already have some stuff for him this is gonna be the blanket that like goes over his crate so he has like a little den i don't know why i have that sign there but i don't really know where to put it yet this is his bed fun fact zach's mom actually gave us this crate and this bed because they had a puppy and he outgrew the stuff so we have cleaned everything and she let us have those which is super nice and then inside here we have little food placemat things so we're gonna put his water and food bowl on there and that's gonna go like over by the table it's not gonna be in this room because we're not trying to ruin the carpets but this is another bed that she gave us and then we have some toys already for him we have this little star puppy coffee i got this little bin in my last video from target it was three dollars and i'm just gonna use it to store all of his toys for now and then we have these three little sloth toys that we got for christmas and then this little rope toy that we also got for Christmas. There was some complications with this. We've been planning it for a really long time. So we're going to tell the whole story probably on our way to pick him up because we do have kind of a long drive. It's about two and a half hours. So in the next video, we'll tell you the whole story about how we got him and probably go over the expenses and stuff like that. Just because, you know, if I was someone, I am someone and I have been someone for a while who's planning on getting a dog. I'd want to know all those things, how the process works and how much money it actually is, the reality of it, because although they're super cute and cuddly they also come with a, a huge expense so in my next video we're gonna go over all of that explain everything so let's go shopping this is my little fit for shopping today we're gonna go to starbucks first and then we're gonna go my shirt is from target belt is from she and i wear this belt every single day these jeans are from american eagle and my shoes are dudes and there's a giant freaking scuff mark on them from pavement i don't know why i don't know how they got there but we're about to leave and go to starbucks and then we're gonna go shopping here's our long list of things we have to buy some of the stuff like i said is going to be coming from amazon we just got to the place zach has to call his mom real quick but at supermarket we came in here a little while ago and we looked around and it's just it seemed pretty cool they have a grooming thing it's basically a pet smart but just like a different brand i don't know so we're just gonna go check it out see what they have we can check some stuff off the list and then we also have an actual pet smart and we're gonna go look over there and see what's going on over there if there's anything else that we can't get we'll probably just order it on amazon um and hopefully we can buy all the stuff that we need for him so because I know that they have a lot of cute stuff. We're gonna try and find a food storage container for his food and his treats, and then cute bowls, because I really wanna get ceramic bowls. We're gonna go to Marshall's right now, and then we'll probably stop at the pet store that's right around here for the rest of the stuff. And honestly, if we don't find anything else, we'll probably just order it from Amazon, like I said. There's already some things that we have to get from Amazon anyway, so I'm gonna be placing a big Amazon order at some point. Doggies, lazy doggies. Look, if we get them a little baby bunny. I'm gonna get him this <laughs> grooming glove. Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> okay, so we just got home. I 
didn't film a lot because we were kind of rushing in the last two stores because we went to lunch. So I didn't film a lot of us actually shopping, but I'm gonna give you guys a huge haul of almost everything I got. And then I'm also gonna include the stuff that I'm going to get because we know exactly what we're buying from Amazon. So I'm just gonna put up pictures and stuff of all the stuff that we don't have specifically yet. I don't have it to show you, but I'm just gonna pop up some pictures of the stuff that we are gonna get. So you guys know exactly everything that we're getting for our puppy. This is everything we ended up buying for our puppy in a categorized list. If you wanted that, just go ahead and screenshot. So let's just get into it. I broken things into categories. I have essentials and things that we specifically needed for our dog. And then I have food and feeding, cleaning and grooming and like hygiene, toys and playing. And then I have just like some extra fun stuff that we just felt like we wanted to get our puppy. So I'm gonna start with the puppy essentials, the things that I feel like we definitely needed to have to be able to get a dog. So the first thing is this feeding station thing for food and water. I don't love that they're stainless steel. I wanted to get like ceramic bowls, but we'll just have to clean them a lot because I was told that if you don't clean them, some kind of bacteria like stays on them or something. Somebody told me that. So we're just gonna have to clean them a lot, which is fine because we do dishes every day. So obviously when he's a tiny little puppy, he's probably not gonna be able to eat out of this because it's gonna be a little too high. We can just take the bowls out. It's just really cute and it matches with the vibe of the house. So I like that a lot. And then the next thing, leashes and collars. We got this harness too. We really wanted a harness because I've heard that harnesses are easier for training, like leash training and stuff, which we're definitely gonna be implementing into his training because like I said, we don't live in our own house. We have kids around us and other dogs and stuff like that. So he's gonna need to be trained and he's gonna need to be trained well. So instead of pulling at his neck, we got him a harness to start with. And these are all in a size small um, because he's gonna be tiny when we first get him. I got this cute little collar and it's super cute. It's small right now because he's gonna be a tiny little puppy, but we're obviously gonna have to get new ones to upgrade. And then we got just the matching leash to go with that. That's that stuff. I feel like every dog owner in the world has to have a collar and a leash for their dog, at least. Like if you have nothing else for your dog, you should probably have that. And then some stuff for us specifically, since we live in an apartment, we got this, like I said, there are like other dogs and stuff that the owners don't pick up after them. And I'm nervous because I know that there's like a certain shot that they have to get before you can let them go around other animals droppings we'll say so we're gonna put this outside on our little patio thing and we're gonna try and train him to go out there until he does have that shot so that he doesn't get used to just like peeing on the carpet or whatever or these I don't want to train him to go on these but there is not very, really much we can do unless we keep him in a crate at all times when we don't have the time to like look at him constantly which we're gonna try to avoid as much as possible we have a whole system picked out and I'll show you guys exactly what that is but these are to prevent any Thing from leaking through that system or you know just in case we bought these a small little pack because we're not planning on house training him to go in the house we got some of these if he has to go outside we're gonna be training him to ring a bell and so that he can go outside and go on the grass so that's gonna be nice and then we got some poop bags and a poop dispenser so I got this we're just probably just gonna clip this thing right onto his little leash so that when we walk him we automatically have a poop bag dispenser there and then just some refill for it. These are the green bone bio base. They are wheat straw. I guess I don't know. They're made out of plants, which is nice. Better for the environment. So that's everything that I categorized as like didn't fit into another category essentials. So I guess we'll move on to cleaning and grooming. So the first things that we got for him was shampoo and a deodorizer that's matching scents. So this is a shampoo and conditioner two in one. This is in the scent Sunkissed Coconut and it smells absolutely divine. It smells so good. It it literally smells like a perfume that I would buy from Bath and Body Works. I swear it smells amazing, which I'm super excited about because I do not like the wet dog smell. And this is environmentally and socially conscious a uh, company. It's a probiotic shampoo and conditioner. Honestly, I haven't done a huge amount of research on these, but I've heard that the Burt's Bees one isn't terrible. And then I just saw that this I don't know. If someone if someone disagrees with me and they know a lot more about it and you're educated, feel free to let me know the best kind you use because I obviously don't want to like harm him with like shampoo and stuff like that. But we don't want to wash him a lot. We also got this spray to spray on his coat to be able to make him smell like refreshed. And I guess you can use this every day. This is, says daily use, but I'll probably only use it if he starts to smell. Cause I don't want to like ruin his skin or like dry out his skin or anything by washing him too much, but really only if he gets like super muddy or super dirty or 
or if he starts to smell like really bad, you know, then we'll go ahead and give him a bath. And then I got this cleaner because I really wanted to get an enzyme cleaner so that if he does happen to make an accident on the carpet or on the floor, I guess if even if we can't smell it, they can still smell it and they'll like go again in that same spot. To prevent that from happening, we got this urine and odor destroyer. So if he goes on the carpet, we'll just clean it with this. I think that that's pretty essential because we live in an apartment, obviously, like I said, so we don't own the carpet. We're really not trying to ruin the carpet that doesn't belong to us. So we'll be cleaning it with that. And to go along with the cleaning, carpet thing we bought this carpet shampooer it's like a handheld carpet shampooer it's a little on the pricier side but honestly i'm trying to get my deposit back so as much as we can do to prevent ruining the carpet i will absolutely do that and honestly i just don't want to live with a bunch of pee and poop stains all over the carpet it's worth it to me to buy that it may not be super essential to anybody else but it was essential for me so we bought that and then i also got these dog wipes if he goes outside and gets muddy or anything or if he just like sneezes i don't know just so <laughs> just to like wipe him off and just clean him without having to actually give him a huge bath and then we got this Ferminator brush medium sized one it's a de-shedding brush I'm just gonna brush him out with it minimize the amount of hair that lays around I don't know how often you're actually supposed to brush them but I'm probably just gonna do it like once a week and especially a lot more when he's young so he gets used to it and he's not as like attacky with it when he gets older and then for his breath we got this finger toothbrush for when he's younger and a regular toothbrush as well oh they're actually both finger they're actually both finger brushes and then this oral care clean teeth gel it says no brushing but i'm gonna brush his teeth with it because i didn't see the actual like toothpaste on there so i just got this please let me know if that's wrong honestly i don't know so it's just this like gel and we're just gonna put it on the toothbrush, I guess, and just like brush his teeth with it. I could not find the Vets Best one at all in two of the stores that we went into, so that's the one I like really wanted, but we couldn't find it. So, and then this is not really like an essential or a cleaning or anything, but I heard that this is like really good for when they're like super young. So this is just a Just Relax Botanical Calming Spray, and it says it naturally calms anxious behavior. So I'm thinking maybe we will, if he's anxious or like scared or anything, we'll just spray this like in his crate or something, and it will help him calm down when he's when he first gets here because i've heard that they get really really nervous when they're separated from their litter mates and their mom for the first time definitely want to prevent any of the stress that he's gonna have for the first couple of days and try and ease that stress for him as much as possible so then we got this paw pad shield conditioning and protection for uh wax for dogs so this is literally just like paw wax like i said we live in an apartment so he's gonna be walking on pavement and cement a lot and the weather fluctuates a lot actually like right now it's 70 degrees outside right now but on monday it's supposed to be 50 so i don't want to prevent the little like cracks in his paws and keep them nice and conditioned and soft as much as possible for him and also like if he gets any scrapes or anything from walking on cement hot cement especially if it's like super hot outside he doesn't have shoes to wear like we do so he doesn't have any protection so i want to help him with that and so we got this paw pad shield so it's just conditioning wax that is everything for the cleaning and grooming section also for the i guess for like the training and household cleaning whatever i guess you could throw this in there this is literally just a it's like a gate thing and this is exactly where we're planning on putting it because this area right here if you've seen my other videos especially my cleaning video you'll know that this is like a cubby over here and we're planning on making this like his bedroom we're gonna put his crate and his bed and all of his toys and everything except for his food and like obviously like the extra like cleaning supplies and stuff like that he doesn't need to have access to those but everything that's his that he's gonna use is gonna be over here it's gonna be like his little bedroom so if we're not here we have this like big mat this is the mat that we're gonna be buying and it's kind of it's like a baby food mat and we're planning on getting two of those because the space is a little bit bigger and we're just gonna put um the pee pads like i said underneath it in the spots it's gonna be like a huge process but y'all will see you guys will see i promise but basically we're gonna have those little mat things on top of this carpet over here and it'll be like a new flooring for his bedroom it's gonna be super cute and then we're just gonna keep him in here with this gate thing and i love this gate there was a lot uglier ones that actually screwed into the walls which is not good we're a lot more more expensive this one was at marshall's and it was only 50 dollars. so if you're looking for ways to save with your puppy go to marshall's and get this thing it's only 50 dollars. it's pretty it's pretty nice it's really sturdy and it's really cute honestly like it's and it's perfect he's not gonna we're not gonna need it after he's above this where he can like jump over it you know what i'm saying so with that let's move on to the feeding and food portion of the haul 
I feel like a lot of people are gonna say this is overkill and like I bought too much stuff, but I don't care. This dog is gonna be the most spoiled ever. I'm so freaking excited to be getting a puppy. You guys will know when you hear the story in the next video, we'll tell you guys the whole story and like how long it took and everything like that. Um, Cause there's a little bit of a story behind it. But anyway, yeah, so let's move on to the food and feeding portion of this video. I guess you could include <laughs> the food bowls and trays and stuff like that because those are feeding. I didn't really think about that. I guess for the food and feeding other than the food and water bowls, we have this this which is so cute i love this i love containers like this if you've seen my like organizing my kitchen any at all in any of my videos i love containers like this and this is a pretty big container we're gonna put as much food as we can to fit in here and then whatever's left we'll just put where all of our like restock stuff is for our personal food too but this is really nice it has like one of those um i don't know those lids and then i got this too for his treats and I think this is super cute. They kind of match. So this is like a little treat one. I don't know what kind of treats I'm gonna put in here. Probably I make homemade treats. Maybe I'll put them in there. But to go along with food and feeding trend we have going, I bought this. This is a brain stimulating puzzle for them. So it says that you can use treats for it. And I'm sure that we will throw some treats in there at some point, but we're pretty much gonna be using this for his food, like his actual food to like feed him because I am going with the rule that you don't get food for free as a puppy. So you have to work for your food which i think is really good for training because obviously dogs are very food driven so we will not be giving him food for free he needs to work for his food these are really cool the dog has to figure out how to move these and like flip these up to get the treats out and then these little bones come out too and there's treats underneath those and i think that's really cool so he's gonna be using that and i think it's really fun and then we also got a slow feeder because we don't want him to wolf down his food and then get sick so we got him a little slow feeder and then we got this lick mat if we're gonna be gone for a while and he needs to be in his crate this will occupy him for a very long time if we smear some peanut butter or greek yogurt or something like that on here and it will keep him occupied for a while and also if he doesn't like if we find that he doesn't like taking baths um which we're definitely gonna try and get him to not enjoy but tolerate baths when he's really young so that he doesn't hate them when he's older this will help keep him occupied while he's in the bath as well so we'll be using those a lot and then we got some we don't actually have his food yet because we haven't found out from the breeder exactly what kind of food they get and if we like the food that they get if there's like good reviews and it's like a good kind of food then we'll just continue feeding him that if not we'll probably progressively switch him over to something that is more our style and something that we like better anyway we got some treats and some of these were gifted to us for Christmas because our family is very supportive of us getting a puppy I have a couple of options of treats right here so we have these authority treats and these are the chicken flavor. They are multivitamin DHA support and just a bunch of healthy vitamins and stuff. So we got him those. And these are training treats and um, they're kind of big still even for training treats. These are also training treats. And these are buddy trainers. No corn, soy, artificial flavors. They're just really nice. They're also chicken flavor. I'm planning on getting some different flavors of stuff to find out what he likes the best and the most high value items for him for training. And then my mom got us these twists and these are are, they do not have any rawhide in them. They kind of look like they do, but they don't. Um, they're nice and soft. I felt them and I've read the ingredients a couple times, but they don't have any rawhide and they seem fine. So we will be giving him these probably very scarcely because I'm still scared that they're gonna like break and he's gonna choke or something. I don't know. They're very soft, so they seem fine and they don't smell horrible. So we'll try them out, see if he likes them. So that's everything for the food and feeding portion. We don't really know what he likes, so we don't wanna buy him like a ton of toys and not know if he's gonna like them or not so zach picked out this toy it's a fetch one and you pull this and you launch it and he thought it was pretty cool and it's just it has a rope on it it has these like crinkly kind of feathers it's got a squeaker in it and it flies so that's always fun so we got him that toy and then this is the toy that i picked out for him it's so cute it's like a little rhinoceros oh no what is this stegosaurus i think this is a stegosaurus or it's supposed to be um, but it has like a, cr a really, really crunchy tail, like a water bottle style tail. And it has a speaker and it doesn't have a shit ton of stuffing in it. Right here, there's no stuffing and it's super cute. It's really soft and I don't know, I think he'll love it. And it's just really, really cute as a toy. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. And then Zach got him some balls, some tennis balls so he can we can teach him fetch and then we also got this chuck it he'll use this ball and then also for the other balls when we go to like dog parks and just um to play with him so that'll be so fun and then we also got him these because i've heard that these are really good for teething puppies and i'm sure he's gonna have a, a rough time
time with that. So I've heard that if you throw these in the freezer, they feel really good on his teeth and on his gums. So we'll definitely be doing that. So we got him these little Nyla bones is what they're called. And that's everything we got so far for his toys. I showed you guys the toys earlier that we've already received. Those are more like plushy toys and abs we will absolutely be getting him more toys to play with. But even if we do get more toys, we'll definitely be like rotating them out so that he actually can use all of them and he doesn't like get sick of toys and he always has something new to play with. You know what I'm saying? Um, so onto my favorite part of the video, which is just like the fun stuff that is not essential. Probably most people won't get them, but I just decided to get them because I feel like it's gonna be so cute and so fun and so good for him so the first thing is this cooling mat this was super cheap at Marshall's it was only $13 and it's like a gel it has like a gel in it that stays cold which is really nice because it gets really really hot here in North Carolina in the summertime and it's a waterproof material meaning if he has an accident on it it'll be okay we can wash it it'll always stay cold and I can imagine that being covered in fur and the heat in North Carolina will make you even more hot because I'm not covered in fur and I get really hot in the summertime so we got that for him to just lay out in the in the sun or inside to cool off or whatever I think it'll be really nice for him and then the complete opposite of that actually is <laughs> this adorable little outfit I am definitely not gonna be one of those dog moms that like dresses up their dog for every season or anything like that and he's not gonna be in an outfit every time we leave the house but I do want to get him kind of used to wearing stuff in case we do want to throw an outfit on him or something like that that's like super cute for an event or like a party or something and I don't want him to hate it and I want him to get used to it. So we got him this tiny little bear costume and it's so freaking cute. I can't wait to put it on him. It has a little hoodie and little ears and it's so fluffy. And you guys are probably gonna see a bunch of pictures of that on my Instagram. By the time you guys are seeing this video, actually, I will we will already have had him. There will already be pictures on my Instagram. So if you guys wanna see him, go to my Instagram and check that out because unfortunately I will not be able to put him in this video because this video will be uploaded the day that we get him. And I will already have it, you know, figured out by the time we actually pick him up. So two more things that we have for him are these little pouches. So these were not that expensive. We got these at Marshall's as well. And we are going on a trip in Florida. And honestly, we would probably have gotten these even if we didn't. But these are super, super cute. And we're just going to be using these for when we go to like the dog park or any kind of park out anywhere. We'll probably be putting his treats in here. Um, some water in here for him, his little portable water bottle, extra poop bags, the harness leash situation. If, if we don't have it on him for the moment, we'll just put it in here and we'll keep our little training treat pouches in here as well so that when we leave, we can just grab this and head out. And I obviously had to get the matching fanny pack for Zach. So he's just gonna probably throw this across his chest. If we don't need as much stuff or something like that, we'll just throw the small stuff in here and he can use this or, you know, either one of us can use either one of these. It doesn't really matter. We just wanted to have two of them in case each of us wanted to carry something. And honestly, if we don't use these for our puppy, we'll use them for ourselves. So it'll be okay either way. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys everything that we're gonna be getting from Amazon. Well, we got this a long time ago when we first found out that we were trying to have a dog and it's just gold on the outside and it says our name and our phone numbers on the back it's just super cute so you guys will see this on my instagram though i promise okay and then the things that we got from amazon little portable water bowls so we'll be putting those <clears throat> into his backpack so that he can drink when we're out um obviously we don't want to carry his like big water bowl out and we want him to be able to drink so we're just going to carry like a bottle of water probably for ourselves and we'll just share it with him and then i'm also getting this blanket right here here for him when we go pick him up probably just gonna give him that so he has something soft and it'll just be like a little blanket to be able to have his own like little snuggle blanket I don't know we're also gonna get a snuggle puppy and this is so I feel like so many people have these and so many people talk about the benefits of these and I think that they're amazing I think that it's such a it's such a smart idea so this is the one that we're getting we're getting it to match him because I just think it's really cute that he has like a little stuffy of himself and it's, it has a heartbeat and you can put a heating pad in there and it's supposed to resemble his litter mates because when you bring a new puppy home they they spent the first two months of their life with their litter mates and their mom so when you take them away from that they probably are really anxious and sad and I don't want him to be anxious and sad I want him to feel so comfortable and so happy here so I really think that the snuggle puppy is like such a good idea so we ended up getting him that one and I think it's gonna be really nice and he's gonna be really happy and then obviously the mat that I was talking about earlier this is the mat that we're getting it's literally just like a child's like placemat type thing for if they like drop food on the floor we're gonna get two of these and we're gonna put them on the floor over here 
for his little like playpen, I guess. I don't know, his like little play area. So he doesn't have to be cooped up in his crate all day. But if we're like cooking in the kitchen or something, if we're doing things that we can't necessarily keep a strict eye on him all the time, we have this, this whole area he can be in where he can't really get into anything crazy. You know, obviously we'll keep an eye on him still, but for, for situations like that where we're home and we just can't like keep a close eye on him at every second, we're gonna do that so that he doesn't like ruin anything and he can stay over here and play as he pleases by himself. So there's that. And then we're also getting this shampooer right here. It's like a handheld shampooer. I think I might've already talked about it, but just in case he does have accidents on the floor, we wanna be able to make sure that we can clean it up as best as possible. And then we're also getting this Conair pill remover because I've heard that really good things about these being able to get hair off of your couch and stuff. And I don't think we're gonna let him like just roam around on the couch as he pleases, but in case that there is like dog hair that gets into the couch, we'll, we'll have this to be able to get that hair out. So that is everything that we have or we're getting for our dog so far. Um, we're super excited to be dog parents. I'm freaking pumped to be able to be called like dog mom. Like I'm so freaking excited. He's so cute. I'm just like freaking beaming. I'm so excited. And I'm really excited to like start this new journey and become a freaking parent. So that is everything I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and comment because I respond to every single one of my comments. If you comment, I will 110% respond. If you stayed to this point, in the video i freaking appreciate you for supporting me and supporting my channel i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one okay bye